Hello everyone, my name is Phoebe Lee and I am a current medical student between my second and third years conducting research with the Department of Plastic Surgery. Today I'm here to present on my research, Quantifying the Pipeline of Ethnically Underrepresented in Medicine, or UIM Physicians, in Academic Plastic Surgery Leadership. Events this past year have exposed multiple long-standing structural, institutional, and individual racism. Black and Latinx Americans have poor baseline health, inadequate health insurance, and limited access to care. These disparities are also reflected in plastic surgery, as there has only been a total increase of 0.3% Black and 1.7% Latinx American plastic surgery faculty over the course of 12 years. Many authors have concluded that continued underrepresentation of these minorities will cause a profound negative public health effect. The study aims to document the history of race representation in academic plastic surgery and to identify points of attrition for each minority group. Racial demographic information was collected from 2008 to 2019. Looking at these two figures in the middle, following Black and Latinx plastic surgeons down the pipeline, there has been essentially no change or a slight decrease in representation in residency applicants, resident physicians, and academic faculty. Black plastic surgeon representation is at half or less than expected compared to the U.S. Census data while Latinx plastic surgeon representation is at a third or less than expected. The first point of attrition for black plastic surgeons occurs at the resident to faculty level here, or about half or less at this point. Next point of attrition occurs at the local to national leadership level. There has never been a black president of any society, and there are no black editors in chief of journals. The first point of attrition for Latinx plastic surgeons occurs at the faculty to leadership level here, where half are lost at this point. Once this drop-off occurs, there is no recovery at the national level. Latinx members continue at less than 2% on editorial boards of, and of society presidents, and there are no Latinx American editors-in-chief of journals. Looking at this figure on the right, we compared the average proportion of race in the U.S. to racial proportions of plastic surgery faculty and tenure faculty. The majority of academic faculty is Caucasian, followed by Asian. Caucasians and Asians were overrepresented in both faculty and tenured faculty, whereas Latinx and all others were underrepresented. In conclusion, the attrition of UIM physicians and plastic surgery begins at medical school graduation and persists through the rest of their surgical career. This is a call to action to increase representation of these minorities. Current plastic surgeons, especially leaders, can be catalysts of change and diversifying the field with the following recommendations, including scouting and hiring qualified UIM candidates, developing retaining UIM physicians, promoting UIM mentoring, sponsorship, and networking, and investing in UIM students through scholarship grants or stipends. Thank you for listening to my presentation, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you.